Hello guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time I'm talking about the Transformers Studio Series Toys R Us exclusive Thundercracker. Now when that figure was announced we thought okay it's going to be a repaint of the Starscream coming out. Apparently no, it was announced a while back that it's going to be a repaint of Nitro Zeus and we were thinking okay that's odd but maybe it could work. And finally it's been revealed thanks to Devin Bellard on Transformers bot posting and um... It doesn't really look that good. I mean, I love Thundercracker, and I mean, I I don't know. I don't know if I can get into it. Uh, taking a look at the robot mode, it has a different head, which is more based on the original Starscream, which is odd. Why didn't they just use the original Starscream mold for Studio Series? I don't get it, but whatever. Um, anyways, taking a look at the uh, design, the, the paint job, his arms have dark blue, his legs have dark blue, but his entire body is mostly uh, dark gray and black with red stripes and yellow stripes. It's just, there's a lot of colors that are just clashing against itself. And it's not helping that you got these big chunks of blue on the arms and legs, but none of that in the body. It just, it doesn't work. And the head looks a little too far sunk in. Now, you can see the logo Transformers Dark of the Moon on the packaging. I think that's because that was the last time we saw the Starscream and Thundercracker uh, mold uh, for the film. So, I, I guess that's where it's coming from. I don't know. I wouldn't look too much into it. Uh, taking a look at the back of the packaging, you can see Thundercracker in his alt mode. And in alt mode, he looks pretty good. He looks like the G1 Thundercracker. I love the blue. I love the red stripes, the white. I think that looks good. It's just the torso needs more of that blue. I could probably get into the face design, but it also looks a little too wide and a little too big, and I'm, I'm just not sure how I feel about that. So, yeah, again, this is probably going to be about $40 to $50 out here. I'm not sure if I want to pay that price for a Thundercracker, but I guess we'll see. I don't know. Just for right now, I'm not really liking what, I'm, what we're getting. So with that out of the way, that's pretty much it. I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudettes. And I'll see you guys next time.